What's up, guys? Still Tunes back at you with another video. And we are back after what? What was it? Uh, a, a month or so. About it's a been month. Quite a, yeah. It's been quite a while since we made a vid. As you guys can see, uh, I think for the long time subscribers, uh, you guys kind of are familiar with this. Uh, our studio's back, basically. Yeah, yeah, we have our studio back. Uh, that kind of explains the lack of videos. You know, our studio has been out of order for a month now because we had to do some home improvement. Now, the people doing uh, the home improvement for us said it was supposed to be a week. And said it just took a month. Yeah, it, it took a month, which explains the lack of videos that we've had. But anyway, we are back here in our uh, st studio. And we are here to uh, update you guys on, on what the Steelers have done in the offseason so far. And if you guys follow us on Twitter, at Steel Twins, and you guys already know our reactions because we've been live, or uh, we've been tweeting about it and all that stuff. So, but... If you don't follow us on Twitter, we're basically going to, you know, update Go things. on with it. Yeah, yeah, and give you our reaction. So we'll start with, now the players that we've lost are Marcus Wheaton to the Bears. Um, not too big about the loss. Uh, you know, obviously when Montevious Bryant got suspended the last season, we all we all looked forward to seeing him, you know, upgrade. I had or, high hopes for Or him. hoped for him to upgrade, you know, step up and stuff because this was a big year for him. But instead, he he basically got injured for most of the season. Yeah, so didn't really do anything. So I'm not too big about the loss. Plus, I like Eli Rogers, as yeah. a slot or a slot receiver. So, mm -hmm. I mean, good luck to him in Chicago. You know, hopefully we cost. I mean, we face the Bears next next year, so hopefully we get to meet meet him there. And yeah, good luck to him. You know, thanks for everything he did. You know, his great game against Seattle in 2015. You know. He had some pretty good games, pretty good moments with the Steelers, but he did. You know, sad to see him go, but not too sad about the loss. But um, the next person that we lost is a longtime Steeler and will be to us a Steeler for life. Uh, Lawrence Timmons to the Miami Dolphins. Now, of course, this one really hurts us uh, defensively because he was Mike Tomlin's first NFL draft pick, and he has been absolutely amazing since he's was drafted, you know, he he started opposed James Ferrier for a few years, then he stepped up. Well, he he stepped up to start when Ferrier retired, retired, and then he did absolutely phenomenal when he stepped up as yeah. number one starter. You know, it, it sucks to see him go. It really does. But the thing about him was he was getting older, he was getting slower. And weaker and you know, less intelligent. And he, he he was never good in pass coverage. Exactly. If you guys don't know, the Steelers are looking for an inside linebacker who can one blitz and drop into coverage. Now we already have a guy like that named Ryan Shazier who's an absolute monster, but I think he's best in the middle and he should stay in the middle. Of course go into coverage here and there, but stay in the middle a little bit. Yeah. Okay, because that's where he makes most of his plays. In the middle. I mean, I heard that uh, Kevin Colbrook's actually uh, pretty confident in Vince Williams, you know, replacing Timmons. Yeah. And I am, too. I am, too. I think I think he's really good. Honestly, we could have Sejir uh, be the inside linebacker that covers, which I wouldn't mind, and Vince Williams be the one in the middle, which I wouldn't mind because I like Vince Williams. Yeah. And he's stepping up. He's kind of like a young, faster Lawrence Timmons. Yeah, from uh, when he was uh, a rookie, you know? He was yeah. being taught and taught by Ferrier, and now Vince uh, was being taught by uh, T Timmons. Timmons, yeah, and they he, he upgraded. He did real good last season, if you ask me. Yeah, when Shazier got injured a bit. Yeah, he, he started two games. He did real good, especially on special teams. You know, it, you know I like Vince Williams, so I'm confident in him starting. Yeah. Uh, you know, since Timmons is gone, but... Thank you, Timmons, for everything you did in Pittsburgh. You know, it sucks to see you go. It really sucks. But, obviously, you'll retire as a Steeler when you retire, which will probably be in a few years. But good luck in Miami. Hopefully we cross paths. And good luck, dude. Good luck. And another player we lost was Jarvis Jones to the Arizona Cardinals. Oh, look at that. Another freaking Steelers player going to the Cardinals. Dude, it's like a fucking graveyard down there. All of the former Steelers players and coaches always go to Arizona. Like Bruce Arians, uh, our former offensive coordinator, Ken... Ken Wisenhunt. Yeah, uh, Joey Porter, I think Fanica went there for a year or two. Brian McFadden, William Gay, and now him. What the hell? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, I don't know, but... It's like people... It's, it's, why do they always go to Arizona? I don't know. Do they think that they're going to upgrade because... I, I don't know, I don't know, but... Um, but this laws, I can give two crap about it. Yeah, because he... He's a bust. Now, of course, I saw a little bit of improvement, you know, with his awareness last season. But, but not his, a lot. Not his, a lot. his pass rush is still terrible. 
Still terrible. He had yeah. one sack, and that was uh, that was the last game of the season. He was supposed to replace James Harrison, but now he's being replaced by James Harrison, and that's kind of sad. That's just disappointing. So good luck to you in Arizona. Uh, you, I, don't, I highly doubt you're gonna start because they have Chandler Jones. I don't know if they're gonna start him at outside linebacker or defensive end, knowing that Calais Campbell was just signed to Jacksonville. They might start him at defensive end and have Jones be the outside linebacker opposed Marcus Golden. I can I that I can see that happening. And we'll see, we'll see. But I'm not too big about this loss anyway. And the players that we released uh, were Justin Gilbert, which I'm still upset about. You know, if you think about it, he was with bad. He was with a bad team, the Browns, and he didn't really get. I mean, of course he started, but he didn't really get too much of an opportunity to show what he had, and he didn't get that in Pittsburgh. I feel like that this upcoming season would have been the great chance for him to show. Possibly be a slot corner for us. I mean, well, he could have been. You know, you know, we can still resign him, but I highly doubt. Yeah, well, well, we'll see. Another player that we released was Carlos Williams Sr. Uh, not too big about it. I mean, he has talent. He has great talent. But he has off-field issues. Yeah, and plus we already signed a running back who we will name and announce later in the video. And, of course, we lost Ryan Harris. Who too. actually didn't be released, but he actually retired. Yeah, I mean... I mean, he wasn't really good. He was just a backup. I mean, he was a starter for Denver in 2015, and he won a championship with him, so. But still. Good for him. Good for him. And the players that we have signed in free agency is Justin Hunter from the Buffalo Bills. Which I am extremely happy about because he's tall, he's fast, he's a good deep threat. You know, I really like him. Of course, you know, he was drafted in the second round. And, of course, he hasn't really done much, but if you think about it, he hasn't really been with a good team with a reliable quarterback and a reliable coach in a reliable team. And now he does. Exactly. He has Ben, Tomlin, and, of course, the Pittsburgh Steelers. So I think he's with a good team, and I think he will do really good for us. So I honestly see him being a number four receiver, depending if Martavis Bryant gets uh, reinstated, which obviously he should. Yeah. I don't see why he shouldn't, but I, li I like the signing. He's tall, fast, a good deep threat. The only thing that's wrong with him is his inconsistency. But I'm sure the Steelers and the offense coordinator will gladly help with that. I mean, we've always been good with receivers. Exactly. We've always been. Free agency and uh, drafting, so I like to sign. Another player we have signed is the, Niall Davis, the running back. Yeah, so I, 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 I absolutely love the signing. He's extremely fast. He's still young. He's still young. He can. He's a good return specialist, which is something that we need, one of the biggest needs. And he's averaging, what, almost 30 yards per return? And that's exactly what we need. We've needed that. Yeah. And he, he like I said, he has experience in the return game. So I like this signing. He's obviously going to start as return specialist, and his speed and his agility will definitely help us get in good field position and possibly even get a return touchdown, which we haven't had in a while. Yeah. Kick return touchdown is what I mean. But, um... I like the signing, and plus he could possibly be a number two running back behind Bell. And of course, with this signing, I think that takes away the possibility of us resigning D'Angelo Williams. But I like the signing though. He's young, fast. I like it. Another player we have signed is Cody Sensabaw. Sensbog. Sensbog, whatever, from the New York Giants, a cornerback. Uh. You know, it's cool that we finally signed a cornerback or a defensive back. You know, it's something that Steelers fans have really been wanting for a while now. So they finally got one. And most people don't even know who this guy is. I do know. I know who this guy is. His name sounds familiar. Uh, if you guys don't know, Jameis Winston, his first NFL pass. Well, was, it was picked by this guy. And it yeah. was returned for a touchdown. Yeah, which also was his first career interception. But... He had two picks in his career. He started with... Which was actually one, in only one season. Yeah. Uh, I'm not too big on this signing. You know, honestly, I think this is just for depth. Yeah, I can, def I can definitely see it as depth unless he can work his way as a slot corner. It's possible. I think he's best in slot corner. But if you think about it, look at the f look, look at the two corners we've had the past two seasons. Uh, Brandon Boykin and Justin Gilbert. They both have starting experience. They both look pretty good. And... They barely played. So I don't see this guy starting. Again, if you think about it, they, they were trades. They were signs. traded. Yes, I get that, but it's still the same thing. They have starting experience, but they rarely played. 
I mean, we'll see what happens in so the season. So, I honestly see him being just depth, which I'm okay with. And uh, another player we have signed is Tyson Alualu from the Jaguars. Which uh, I like this sign because... He's a defensive lineman. He plays DN and D tackle. Which I like because he plays inside and outside. Yeah. Obviously, this is just for depth, so I like it. He, just, he can uh, he can be a backup for Hayward. To it or Hargrave. Yeah. I honestly see him the backup. I, I, I see him being the backup for Hayward, and then either LT Warren or Johnny Maxey being the backup for To it. Yeah. And, of course, Javon Hargrave will start at uh, D tackle and Big Dan... Uh, Daniel McCullers will be the backup for Hargrave. Yeah. That's basically how I see it, which, that looks good. That looks good to me. That's a good defensive line right there. Yeah. Players we have re-signed are David Johnson, Landry Jones, and Debo himself, James Harrison, to two-year extension deals. And let's start with David Johnson. I like the signing. It's good depth, and he's a good blocker. He can play fullback and tight end. He's a good blocking tight end. He can also be a secret weapon when it comes to those short plays. Which we have used him in in, in last season. Yeah. You know, like fourth and ones, two-point conversions. We've done that. So I like the signing. Of course, he has experience with the team and the players and the playbook, so I like it. Yeah. I like signing. Landry Jones, I do not like it. No. No. I, I, get, I get that he knows the playbook. He knows the coaches. He knows the players. He's communicated with them. But he ha- he sucks. He's now, not, he doesn't change. He did good against the Patriots in Week 7, but he, I see. I just saw a tiny bit. You see a very, very tiny bit of improvement L- from literally him. Literally a grain of salt. Very tiny improvement from him last season. He sucks. So I'm hoping Ben can stay healthy the entire season. Or maybe Zach Mettenberger can outplay J- Landry Jones in, in, in training camp for the preseason. I don't know. All I know is that Ben better stay healthy. I mean, let's hope so. Because this guy's the backup is not the solution. No. No. <laughs> no in hell. But on to James Harrison. Bam! Genius. Genius freaking I signing. am glad he is back for two years. Two years. Two years, man. That's two years. Until he's, he's 40 years old. He is 38 right now. And he is still... He, he's still a freaking nature. How's he do this for a 38 year old? He's still making quarterbacks piss their pants, especially he's, Flacco. He's still he's still terrorizing offensive linemen, especially some of the best tackles in the league. Dude, he's a freaking monster. No he matter is, what age he is, he 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 will literally go through any lineman to get to that quarterback. He is looking father time in the eye. He's making them bow down, dude. He's saying "fuck you." I'm still playing, and that's why I like because he has love for the sport. He has love for the sport, he has love for the team, and he has love for the fans. I like this signing. Of course I like this signing. What the hell? Who this doesn't awesome. like this signing? This what Steelers awesome. fan doesn't like this? It's awesome. I feel like this gives us time to actually look deep for that replacement for Harrison. Yeah, a better honestly, replacement. Yeah, because we tried Jarvis Jones. And, yeah. and you, 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 the rest is history. Yeah. It's not even history. It's just... Yeah. It's, it's, just, just, it's, it's, it's like crumbled it's, paper. It's just awful. But this will give us more time to look at the replacement for Harrison, so I like it. And of yeah. course, he's still doing good. He's still terrorizing quarterbacks, so I like it. Awesome. Great resign. Great sign. And of course, Le'Veon Bell was franchise tagged. Uh, we already made a video about that. You already know our feelings. And we also made a video about Antonio Brown's uh, five-year contract extension. It was actually a four-year deal, but he, he still has an extra year left in his original contract. So it's, it's basically a five-year extension. He's there for five years. Yeah. So, awesome. Great. We already made videos about those two with Bell and Brown. Those happened on the same day, which was a Monday. That was the best money ever. So, and honestly, I think Bell will get a, uh, a long-term extension soon. Yeah, let's hope so. Hopefully now, soon. Now, that leads me to my next thing, which will close out the video. Steelers fans aren't too happy about what we've done in free agency. You know, we've had interest in big names like Dante Hightower, who was signed with the Patriots, and Logan Ryan, who signed with the Titans, you know, and We've had interest in him, but we didn't sign him. And, of course, many people are a bit irritated about that. I honestly am not irritated about it. Of course, it would have been nice to have him. It really would have been nice. But, honestly, we don't need him. No, I'll, I'll, Steelers, Steelers hardly make moves in free agency. Unless it's a cornerback, like a, a good starting young cornerback, then I'll be fine with it. But, honestly, oh, yeah. we, can, we, can, we can work on that in the draft. We may have gotten a few players of free agency that have turned out to be big players for us, like Ryan Clark, 
James Ferrier, uh, Kevin, Kevin Green, Green, you know, just name a few. But Steelers and Kevin Colbert have a history of signing depth and backups and then working on the big needs in the draft, which has been very successful for us for a while now. And I love that approach. That's something that most Steelers fans don't realize. We, we sign depth and backups of free agency, and then we focus on the needs in the draft. That's genius. That's what we always do. In my opinion, that's fucking genius. It is genius. That's something most Steelers fans don't realize, and they need to realize. I like that stuff. And plus, with that money, that will help us resign Bell, of course, Alejandro Villanueva, which hopefully happens soon. Yeah, they have until actually uh, April 21st in order to sign him long term. Yeah, which honestly hopefully does happen. Uh, you know, Stephon Tewitt, which might happen after uh, July 15th. Uh, Ryan Shazier, we definitely have to assign him either this year or next season. You know, all the leftover money that we have, you know, we can go to the players that we extensions. Are, that we already have, the big playmakers, the big difference makers that we have on our team. That deserve extensions with the Steelers. It's genius. It is. It's a genius move. I mean, think about it. Come on. But... So far, the Steelers for agency, it's been, I like it. The entire offseason, I love it. It's been good. It's been it's good. It's been good. This, this happens every year. So, I'm not surprised about it, but I like it. I, 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 I like this approach. It, it's a good offseason so far. So far, it's been good. Yeah, so I like it. In the comments below, let us know what you guys think about the signings and the releases and all that stuff in the comments below. And, uh, we are back. We plan on making more videos about free agency, and we'll be doing uh, mock drafts since the draft is coming up. And so stay tu uh, stay tuned to that. And, uh, yeah, we are back. Glad to be back. More videos coming up, so stay tuned, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you later. Peace!